This video will demonstrate how to create slope, aspect, and hillshade layers from a digital elevation model using QGIS. The data being used is a digital elevation model of Mount St. Helens. Slope is used to show the steepness or gradient of terrain. We can calculate slope by going to the processing toolbox, expanding raster terrain analysis, and double clicking on slope. In the box it pops up, we just want to make sure that the appropriate layer is selected for elevation layer. And we also want to save our output. We will save to file and just call this slope. Click save, click run, and close. We can see the output here on the map. If we look over to our layers list, we can see slope values range from zero degrees, meaning completely horizontal or flat, to almost 84 degrees, which indicates that there are some very steep portions of this terrain since these values are close to 90 degrees, and 90 degrees means is completely vertical. And we can see this on our output as well, where we can see Mount St. Helens in lighter colors indicating steeper slope, whereas on the terrain, the land surrounding Mount St. Helens, we see much more darker colors indicating it's more relatively flat. We can also see that by looking at the actual crater on Mount St. Helens. Inside the crater here, the crater walls are a very light color, meaning that they are almost completely vertical or very close to vertical. Aspect shows compass direction of slope. An aspect is given in degrees from 0 to 360, where north is 0 degrees and measurements proceed clockwise from north. To calculate aspect, we can go back to our processing toolbox and under raster terrain analysis, we can double click on aspect. In the box it pops up, we want to make sure that the appropriate layer is the input for our elevation layer. So I'll select our digital elevation model. We also want to save our output. So click over here and select save to file. And I will just call this aspect. Click Save and click Run. Now close this. And we can see our output show up here on the map. If we look at our output in the layer list, we can see aspect values ranging from just about zero to 360. And this is in a black to white color gradient moving from zero degrees toward 360 degrees. So one way we can visualize this is by looking at Mount St. Helens. Generally speaking, we can see it's darker on the easterly facing side, so in the neighborhood of about 90 degrees. And as we move around Mount St. Helens, we see, uh, we see it lighten. So as we move towards south, about 180 degrees, to west, 270 degrees, and as we approach 360, we can see this transition as the, the colors lighten. Hillshade shows an elevation surface in relief by mimicking a source of illumination. And this helps in visualizing the topography of the terrain and, and landforms. To calculate hillshade, we go back to the processing toolbox and under raster terrain analysis, double click hillshade. The box it opens up, we want to make sure that we have the appropriate elevation layer selected, so our digital elevation model. One thing to note is this azimuth, this is a horizontal angle, it's at 300, let's make note of that, I'll come back to that in just a moment. 
We also want to save our output. So save to file, and I will call this Hillshade. Click save, and go ahead and click run. And I can close this, and we can see our output here on the map. Indeed, Hillshade does help substantially in visualizing the topography of the terrain here. We can see the illumination source coming from that 300 degree angle I pointed out in the box. And so 300 degrees is roughly about a northwesterly. And so we can see portions of Mount St. Helens that face that direction are well illuminated, whereas on the opposite side, so more of a southeasterly direction, we see this is where shadows fall. And we can also notice the same concepts when we look at the actual crater.